Hi, my name is Professor Elise Knorr in the Regis English Department. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to register for classes using WebAdvisor. First step is to go out on your web browser to webadvisor.regis.edu and log in up here using your Regis username and password. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to click on the Students button right here. On this next page, you'll have options to do all kinds of things, update your account information, your password, um, all kinds of good things. Uh, I want to point out over here under student forms, the traditional undergraduate students major declaration form. If you're ready to declare your major and you haven't done so already, you can do so using this form. You can also under academic profile, click on program evaluation and get a really handy guide to which classes you have completed and which classes you still need to complete to get a major in, to get a degree in whatever major you've chosen. So you can go with something you've already selected if you have already selected a major, or you can play what if and select a different major and then run the program evaluator. It'll spit out to you a form that looks sort of like this. It walks through both your core required classes for Regis, as well as the required classes within the major you've selected and let you know whether or not you still need that course or not. So here I've run uh, the program evaluation for e the economics traditional major in the business school and uh, it's telling me that I need all of these classes still to get that degree. So I really recommend that you use the program evaluator uh, each semester just to check in on which classes you still need to get for your degree. Once you're ready to start searching for classes, you'll hop over here to registration and click on search for sections and course materials. This will bring up a search uh, area that looks like this. First thing you're going to want to do is select the term. In my case, that's 2017 fall semester, just the regular old fall semester in my case. And I noticed that here on my uh, program evaluation, it tells me that I need this Accounting 320 class and the Economics 320 class. I need both those courses. This course abbreviation here is the subject or discipline that you're going to be searching for. So I'm going to look for courses with the abbreviation AC as well as courses with the abbreviation EC. And put them in here. So it'll look for both accounting and economics classes with the search. I can also select the course levels. And since I know that the classes I'm looking for are 320 and 320, I'm going to go ahead and plug in 300 level classes right here. You can also use this form if you have a schedule that limits your availability to certain days or times of, uh, times of the day. For example, if I know that I have softball practice at 3 o'clock every day, I could search for sections that end before 2 p.m. And it's going to show me all the results of uh, economics and accounting 300 level classes that end before 2 p.m. So the results will look something like this. I can see the name of the class, um, the uh, section number, RU01, RU02, RU03. You'll need this full information when you're registering all of these uh, numbers and letters as well as the title of the course. I can see what days of the week and what times during those days the class meets. I can see the faculty and the room if those have been announced yet. I can click for book information if that's been announced yet. I can see the number of credits as well as how many spaces are left available in that class next semester. Some classes may already be full. In this case, there's always, uh, in, in all of these options, there's, there's some availability in these sections. If you're wondering what the class is about, you can also click the uh, blue link and read a description of that class introduces basic accounting principles and procedures for sole proprietorship, partnerships, and corporations. When you're ready to register for a class, you can just select it, and WebAdvisor will walk you through the rest. Uh, but this is all the information you'll need when you're talking to your advisor about what classes you want, and so it's a good idea to start searching and getting all of this good information written down on your scheduling worksheet. Last but not least, if you want to find out in an, another location what the requirements of your major are, you can always go to the Regis University website, click on Academics, and then University Course Catalog. The course catalog is going to be a big old PDF that includes all of the course descriptions for every course being offered in Regis at that time, as well as the major requirements. So when you open up the course catalog, it'll look like this. Like I said, it's a pretty huge document, so you might want to use the Table of Contents or Control F to search the document. What I find about my economics degree is that I can look up the requirements of that Bachelor's of Science in Economics on page 72. And right there on page 72, 73, you'll find all the information for a Bachelor of Science in Economics. All the classes required. 
as well as lots of other useful information about this particular major and minor. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, talk to your advisor if you need more help registering for classes. Make sure to get started early. Uh, plan your schedule early so you'll be able to get the classes that you want. Thanks a lot for listening, and I hope you have fun registering for classes.